So I want, first thing I want, you, I want to hear from you guys and gals, how do you personally think you should navigate or how are you currently navigating the hard and slow times during an entrepreneur? I want you to comment below and let me know. How do I navigate the hard, slow periods as an entrepreneur? Uh, so the first answer is, well, I'm going to share with you just my own personal experience. So there are times in your business life and your career when you're able to just go into, when you're building the business, that things are going to slow down because of either, not because of the economy, but because of things that just multiple different variables that happen, right? When you want to generate more sales, when you want to be able to implement and execute marketing for clients, when operationally there's so many things that are going on. And so to be able to go through the hard times and the slopes is really just, you got to have a lot of grit. You got to have a lot of discipline to be able to keep things going. Because as you guys know, for those of you who are already doing business, business is not easy. It's probably the most competitive thing that you could do in, in versus any sport because there's so many different variables related to it. So to be able to actually deal with the hard times and the slopes is you got to have, you got to be able to really, you know, you think this is a, you guys are going to think this is a, oh my God, of, of course you got to be able to do this, but just have, be disciplined. You got to be able to bear through the hard times. Um, the second thing that's important for you, other than having your own personal discipline, is to have a support network, board of, board of directors or board of advisors or fellow entrepreneurs, joining EO, YEC, any specific entrepreneurial groups that have all their entrepreneurs that you can bounce ideas off, that you can share your experiences with, because that's the most important thing that you want to have, that support group, to help you whenever, because not business, business isn't always like you're just going up, right? Business is like this. It's always fluctuating. The only mega businesses that you see, like, like the Amazons and the Teslas, they're going up. But if you review their history, there's always ups and downs. An entrepreneur's true test is not about how they can bear through the good times. It's about how they can get through the hard times. That's something that one of my mentors shared with me and something that rings true to me even to this day. So that's something that you always want to bear in mind is that it really helps, for example, personally for me, the meditation, the entrepreneurial colleagues and friends that you're able to share insights with, share your experiences with, to bounce those, ideas, bounce those uh, things off, and just be transparent with them, and they'll share with you the good and the bad and how they deal with it. The third one is, I would say, mentor. Uh, the fourth one would be being able to have that personal grit, personal discipline and determination. What's your why? Let's call that. What's your why? What, why are you doing what you're doing? Is it big enough for you? Because if it matters the most to you, you'll be able to bear through things. The other fifth thing is that how do you manage your risk from a business logical point of view? Uh, you want to make sure that you remove your risk by asking yourself critical questions like what don't you see? What don't you know? What could cause you to fail? What are the things that you don't know that are outside of your control that you cannot affect? So you want to be able to manage your risk as well during your hard times and the slow periods as you're growing any business. So those are more of the stuff you want to be able to also sixth thing is most importantly, how you're leveraging your current existing resources to be able to bear through those hard times. You got to, be able to make some very key decisions and all of these six factors I just share with you are going to be helpful going through that whole process. So those are the six core things that I would use to be able to go through it that I'm doing actually right now. So those are six things that you can use too. So comment below, let me know what one insight or one, one thing you want to start applying to you, your life when you have those hard times and those challenging things because they, they are going to happen. It's just a matter of how you react to it. How are you going to respond to crisis? How are you going to respond to things that don't work on your business when a client doesn't get back to you, when, a, when you don't close certain deals, when you have customers that are complaining, when you have your, your team members doing certain things, like all this stuff, like business is just... Uh, one more core insight is interesting is when you are, let's say, doing $100,000, the problems that you have at $100,000 when you're at $10 million or $100 million, it's the same problem. It's just on a much bigger scale. So I had one experience from a colleague that had an employee, unfortunately, stole from him a CFO, embezzled money. And he basically said that he has, he, when he had a, I think it was a $1 million business, he had the same CFO steal with him for a small amount of money. He fired that person and he had a second person, just bad luck. This is what I'm talking about. And then he, that person stole even more money when he got to, I think, 15 or 50, around $15 million range. And it was just more money. So your problems are just magnified when your business gets bigger. It doesn't, it's the same root cause, but the problem just gets magnified on a different scale. So that's another thing to keep in mind is how do you manage and react to that um, when you're at that level? You have to grow as your business grows personally. 
So that's another extra thing. So thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.